Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominic and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. Today in this video, I want to talk to you about bi-directional cross filtering and how it pertains to row level security. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, here now with this report open, I have just connected to the AdventureWorks data here, and so we're just looking at the sales data associated with AdventureWorks, and we've got it split up here in a couple of visuals. We've got that sales amount by country, so we can view our sales for our different countries here that we sell our products to. We have our sales amount by model name broken up here and some additional table visuals over here on the right. On page two, I have a customer page here with just some basic information about our customers here, their name, phone number, email address, as well as the customer account. Now, what I wanna do here is for this demonstration, I want to restrict users access to the data associated with certain countries. So we'll go in and create a couple of roles here that are I designed to restrict users access to the data so they can only view data associated with certain countries. So we can then go in, create those roles here in the desktop, and then remember in the Power BI service is where we will assign users to those roles. For a more in-depth explanation on uh, creating roles and assigning users to those roles, check out my video on basic row level security, and I'll link that down in the description below. In this video here, what I wanna take a look at is what happens when we create a relationship for one table, but expect to see that data also restricted on another. So currently right now in the modeling tab, we can go into manage roles and we can see that there are two roles here created for this report currently, the all access role and the US role. Now if I take a look at that US role and I look at the filter that has been applied, I can see that for this table, right now for this role, users should be restricted to the data when the country equals United States. So when users are assigned to the US role, they should not be able to see any of that data associated with any of the other countries. So that's what we would expect to see when we are viewing this role. We could also go in here, let's create another new role and we will create a role here for France, and we will go in and do the same thing. Let's set this up on the sales territory table. We'll add in that filter and say when the country equals, and we'll add in France here. So once we create that new role, we wanna hit save, and now we can see that those changes have successfully been applied. So let's go ahead, select close, and let's view these roles now. I'll first start with the US role. Now I'm gonna select view and I'll select that US role and then hit okay. And as we take a look, we can see, in fact, the data has been filtered down on these visuals. We're only seeing our sales data associated with the country, United States. Now let's go back over to our customer table and see. Now here on our customer table, I was expecting to see not the full customer account, not the total customers that we have, because what we're seeing here is all customers for all countries. This did not filter down to just those customers associated with our US country, with this specific region. So what's going on here? Let's head over to the model view now and take a look and talk about this. All right. So here in the model view, let's go ahead and discuss what's going on here. And before we do that, 
I just briefly want to discuss what's happening here with our relationships and the filtering of these relationships on these tables. So in terms of relationships, by default, the single side of the relationship always filters down to the many side of the table relationship. So that is the default behavior. So with the relationship here on our sales territory table, filtering back down to our internet sales table, we created that relationship here on the sales territory table. So that relationship, that security role is only going to filter back down now to this sales table. It's not going to apply in any other direction to any of these other tables because right now all of these relationships, all of the tables are filtering from the one side back down to the many side, filtering back to the sales table. So if we wanted to restrict the access of the data on our customers table as well to these roles, what we would need to do is we would want to modify this relationship here on our customer and internet sales table. We would want to modify this so that instead of this filter only applying in a single direction from the one side, the customer table, back down to the many side, to the sales table, we need to change and modify this so that the filter is propagating in both directions. Then we can apply security in both directions. So in order to do this, I'm going to use that relationship pane on the right hand side. So I'll select my relationship on my customer and internet sales table. And here now in the relationship pane, I can see that relationship. That's the relationship we're viewing. And I see the cross filter direction is set to single. Let's modify this, switch this from single to both. Now the last thing we'll need to do here in order for this to work successfully, we need to select this option here. We need to toggle on security so it is applying security in both directions. Now we'll want to make sure we select apply changes. Now when we go back to the report view, we now see that customer account is dropping way down so it's no longer viewing all customers here in this page. And so that has been fixed here. We could test this out now for one more role. Let's go ahead and test this. Let's see as we stop viewing if it flipped back. It did, back to our customer count there. Back to our total customer count there. Now let's go ahead, select view as, let's view our France role here and see in fact it is filtering down. We are getting a different customer count here than our total customer count and we're getting a different total count here than we did for our US role. So this grants report builders more control over how they can apply those security filters to related tables. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one and find it helpful in applying security in your Power BI reports. Again, if you are looking for more information on basic row level security, I've gone ahead and linked the video I did previously on basic row level security in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the videos that we put out here on YouTube. But if you're interested in learning more from us here at Pragmatic Works, make sure you check out the link below to gain access to our on-demand learning platform, where we have classes on Azure, Power BI apps, Power Automate, and more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.